Good. All right. Good morning. And I say that because it's Friday morning here in the library at the gathering. Uh, and we're recording this for next week, so it'd be following Sunday's message. And so in, in the month of February, we've been answering some questions. I've been preaching relationships since the beginning of the year, and then in February we've been focusing more on our relationships and the relationship we have within this gathering. And so we've been answering four questions, essentially. The first three, which I've already preached on, one is, is what are you a part of? Uh, that follows sort of the idea in the gathering's covenant of I will protect the unity of the gathering. And that's an important thing. Second is, is I will share in the responsibility of the gathering. The idea being that, uh, you know, what am I a part of? What part am I in the body of Christ? What part am I in this gathering? The third question follows the statement that I will, I will share or I will serve in the ministry of the gathering. I will serve in this ministry somehow, be a part of what God's doing in this place. And so you answer the first question, what am I a part of? You answer the second question, what part am I? And the third question is, what does my part do? Uh, and so that was all last Sunday and last Sunday's Dive Deeper and last week's Dive Deeper. So this week we're, we're sort of following on the statement of the Gathering's Covenant uh, as to I will support the ministry of the Gathering. Uh, and this is the one that talks about attending. You know, I'll be there. If I'm a part of this, I'm going to be a part of this. You know, I, I, will, I will give uh, to the ministry of this gathering. I, I will actively participate in what's going on. And so, so I, I sort of ask this question with that fourth statement in mind. And it's sort of like this. What has your part done? You know, if we can say, what are we a part of? What part are we? What does my part do? Then the fourth question is, what has my part done? Am I actively uh, supporting what God is doing in this place? Um, in 2021, we really want to connect people together. It's about relationships. God's a God of relationships. God wants, desires, provides for us to have a relationship with him. Uh, he calls us to be in relationship with each other. Uh, we live in a world where we have relationship with folks outside of the local body of Christ. So when we consider relationship, it's important that we be who God created us to be. So that's my part. That's my part in the grand body of Christ. That's my part in the local body of Christ. My part needs to be doing what it was created to do, and I need to be able to look back and see that I've done what God intended for me to do. I'm reminded of the passage that Paul writes to Timothy. Timothy's a young pastor, young guy, you know, and Paul writes to him about the Word of God. And he says that all Scripture is inspired by God, and it's good for us. All Scripture is good for us. Old Testament, New Testament, letters, histories, prophecies, uh, songs. All those things are good for us for, for several things. First of all, to teach us. Some things are there for us to, to rebuke us. You see, some, some things are there to, to correct us and to train us. Now, there's the one I want to harp on just a minute. If we're going to be supporting, giving, uh, to, to what God's doing in this gathering. There's some equipping that needs to take place in our lives. We need to submit and surrender ourselves to be trained. Because Paul goes on to tell Timothy, he says, so that. Now, so that is another one of those words like therefore. You know, all these things are true. God has, has provided for these things so that. The man of God, it says in Timothy, the person, the, 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 the one who wants to be equipped for kingdom work may be complete. And then he follows it with this word, equipped for every good work. So I've used the word train. I've used the word correct. I've used the word equipped. See, what am I a part of? What's my part? What's my part supposed to do? What has my part done? See, answering those questions is a great exercise to go through 
every morning when you get alone with God, whatever your quiet time is, whatever your personal time alone is with God, asking those questions. God, what is it? Who is it that you've created me to be? Am I doing those things? And then this idea of equipped for every good work. You see, God's doing something. Am I allowing myself, presenting myself, Am I, <clears throat> am I providing myself for equipping, you know? <clears throat> Do I look at what God has provided in my life and consider what part that has in the body of Christ? See, one, I'll be honest, here you go, you ready? One of the statements in this covenant statement is, I will give, I will tithe, right? I will give an offering to what God's doing. Now, if you've been in and around the gathering at all, I don't preach on money. Um, I've always said if we're doing what God's called us to do, money won't be the issue. Uh, and yet, it's important that we're a part of what God's doing with our time, our energy, our talents. And yes, even the, the, the resources that God's provided for us. And so as we answered questions in February, these are the questions that I think, and, and hopefully last week, um, if you looked at the Dive Deeper video, if you were a part of the Wednesday night discussion, what am I a part of? What's my part? What's my part do? It's interesting to look, but it, you don't want it to sound prideful, but what's my part done? I remember the little lady who once told me, she said, yeah, I worked in the bed baby room for 30 years. I thought, that's a lot of diapers. Oh, my Lord, don't call me to work in the bed baby room for 30 years, please. Right? But it is great self-evaluation to say, God, how am I being used for your kingdom's sake? How is what you've provided in my life, whether it's money or time or talent or energy, how is what you've provided in my life being used for your kingdom's sake? You see? So that's the challenge is we finish up February because by the time you are able to watch this video, February's messages will be done. They, they, they'll be over. But you'll still want to ask yourself the questions. Am I being everything God created me to be for his kingdom's sake? Right? For, for the gospel. Am I being trained and equipped and on occasion corrected and rebuked by the Word of God. You see, as God moves us forward into whatever the next thing is, and I don't like the normals or the new normals and all those words, but God has a new day every day. How can I be who God called me to be every new day every day? That's a great conversation to have. And here it is. If you're in a small group or it's the Wednesday night dive deep discussion, you ready? Uh, do some self-examination. What am I doing to be ready for tomorrow? Because tomorrow is always that new day. All right, I hope this gives you an opportunity to think, an opportunity to, to really question and examine you know, who we are. I know I have to work my way through it before I even put it on this, this recording. And so I hope you enjoy just answering those questions week in, week out, day in and day out. Take care. Have a blessed day.